All right, try figuring out the formal charge of all the atoms in this molecule. So press, press pause, try working on it yourself. Even though it might look a little weird to you, just, just try working it out. Press pause, try working it out, and then when you're ready, press play. All right, let's, um, let's look at this one. So let's start by just looking at the simple part. So the hydrogen, for example. Um, we want to know the number of bonding electrons and the number of non-bonding non -bonding E, so let's just call them. So bonding electrons for hydrogen, well, that's two, right? Two. And the number of valence electrons in a free neutral atom of hydrogen is one. So one minus one half times two is one minus one. No non-bonding electrons, there's zero there. So, so obviously these are all, hydrogens are all neutral here, zero. Okay, the interesting part is the carbon. Now, depending on where you are in the course, you may or may not have seen this type of species before, but this is called a free radical, or sometimes just a radical, okay? And um, it's actually not that complicated once you think about it. Um, you're going to do the same calculation for the bonding electrons. Um, that we did before, so we've actually got six bonding electrons, right? Same as before, you know, two times three. Now, non-bonding electrons, it looks a little weird because it's just a single electron, right? But it's not involved in a bond. Um, the single electron is a non-bonding electron, and it happens to be very reactive. And later on, you'll learn about reactivity of, of these, these types of species. But uh, right now, we're just concerned with figuring out what the formal charge of this carbon is. So that counts as a non-bonding electron. So let's use our formal charge formula to figure out the formal charge on the carbon. So carbon is four valence electrons, right? Four minus, now we've got six bonding electrons, so one half times six is equal to three. Again, get the same answer if you just count the number of bonds. The number of non-bonding electrons is one here. It's one because we got this free radical present here. Actually, you know what? I should draw that arrow pointing to the electron radical. Okay, 4 minus 3 minus 1, what answer do we get? Well, actually, it's 0. Okay, this is actually a neutral molecule. So, uh, this, this carbon free radical, this is called the methyl, methyl radical, and it is actually neutral. Okay, Good, so let's actually combine this with a different example which is similar in its unusual character um, that you might not see it so often, but it is something that does come up, so it's worth discussing. Um, so I'm just gonna modify this example a little bit. Just gonna change some things around. Um, and we're gonna put a lone pair on the carbon here. And we're gonna we can probably leave that four in there, but whatever, I'll just take it out. So, now this is probably a weird looking thing to you too. Um, if you haven't looked at this before, and it's possible that you, you haven't, maybe you have. Um, if so, that's good. Um, now this has, let's just count the number of bonding electrons, because we're basically gonna follow the same pattern we did before. So how many bonding electrons do we have? Well, we've got four, right? We've got two bonds to hydrogen, CH bonds. Then we'll ignore the, the hydrogens should be they're neutral, so we're gonna ignore those, okay? <laughs> um, by this point, I think it should be pretty clear that the hydrogens are gonna be neutral if they're bonded just to one thing. The non-bonding electrons, now here we have two. So let's plug all these numbers into the formal charge formula. It's, it's really nothing scary. We've got four valence electrons around carbon, right? It's a normal carbon, so four. Minus one half times the number of bonding electrons, so that's one half times Two uh, times four, which is gives us an answer of two. Um, alternatively, just count the number of bonds. And it's two minus the number of non-bonding electrons. Now here we have a lone pair. Okay, you notice we've got a lone pair, and this is called. Uh, well, this has got two non-bonding electrons, so it's actually two electrons. Four minus two minus two. So the charge here is also zero. So this 
guy is called a carbine. Carbine. And it's also neutral. It's very reactive. Um, uh, it, carbines have a lot of different uh, reactivity profiles, but mostly you'll learn about them in the case of uh, in their reactions with alkenes. That, that's the, the most familiar reaction you learn about them with. So when you cover that chapter, look out for the reactions of carbenes. Okay, but they're also neutral. There's nothing uh, special about the formal charge calculation here. We just follow the exact same formula we've been following for forever now. 